Now, beef may be king, but all over Texas there are smoke houses where you can bring your big old turkey and get it smoked. And I think that's fantastic. But if you don't live in Texas, or even if you do, this is how to make a smoke and smoke bird in your own backyard. This is a Texas pecan smoked maple brine turkey, a name as big as the state. Now we're going to take a fresh or completely thawed turkey here. You want to be careful not to use a self-basing or kosher turkey because it already has a lot of salt in it. And if you put it into the brine, it'll be way too salty. So we're going to make our brine. We're going to put a little water in first to mix the ingredients. And then I'm going to take a couple of tablespoons of coriander seed, a couple of tablespoons of allspice berries, some mustard seed, that's whole mustard seed, some whole peppercorns, and one cup of kosher or sea salt. We'll mix that in. Then I'm going to add a whole bottle of maple syrup. Give it a lot of flavor. There you go. And then, well, we'll probably need, oh, half a cup, cup, well, maybe the whole bottle, depending on how well you feel, of bourbon. I'm actually using about a cup. Just put a cup in there and then, you know, keep the rest for yourself. Now, we're going to take our brine ingredients and put it in to our pail of water. Mix it real well. Get all of that together. And then... We will take our fresh or completely thawed turkey and completely immerse it into the brine. There you go. Make sure you wash your hands afterwards. Cover it and put it in the refrigerator. Another way to do this, which might be easier at home, is to put it in a brining bag because that will fit much more uh, compactly into your refrigerator. Let it sit overnight. Actually, you can let it sit up to a couple of days. And that will make sure that all the flavors are get in there and that bird is beautifully brined. And I have one that we've already brined for a couple of days. Beautiful looking bird. What we need to do is pat it dry. Make sure you don't have too much liquid inside. That smokiness from the grill or the smoker is really going to make it fantastic. All right. Now... We need to go over and prep our grill to make sure that everything's ready before we put the bird on it. Now I want to show you how to take your backyard grill and turn it into a smoker. Real barbecue is with indirect heat. So what we've done here is put all our coals to one side. Then we're going to take our soaked pecan chips, which is what they use in Texas, and put it on the coals. Then we'll close one side, put this over here. And then we're going to put a drip pan underneath the other side upon which we're going to put the brine turkey. Today we're going to use some real Texas beer, Ziegenbach uh, Amber, which you can only find in Texas. You can certainly use Michelob Amber or another dark beer. This will work great. And this will keep the turkey moist, give it flavor, and just make sure that all that heat stays to one side. Okay, we'll put that over there. We'll close this up. Now we have our brine bird. 12 pounds, and again, what we want to do is put it over the drip pan with the beer in it and have all the coals over to one side because true barbecuing is indirect heat. Direct heat is grilling. Now I'm going to make sure I wipe my hands very well, and we're going to cover the bird. And you notice I put a thermometer in there. We want to keep it at a steady 200 to 225 degree temperature to do real barbecuing. But that will take about 10 or 12 hours as it takes about uh, an hour a pound. A little bit difficult to do on a smoker, but with some care you'll have it. And if it does cook a little faster, don't worry about it. You're still going to get a great tasting bird. Almost as good as if you took it to your favorite smokehouse in Texas. When we come back, it'll be time to pull the pork, slice the brisket and the ribs, and taste that fantastic turkey.